Where do the butterflies go when it starts to rain? Where do they go when it gets super windy? They must have some type of a hideout. Butterflies are good weather creatures. They don't like really wet and damp weather. Our lizards are full of energy. They're explosive. They're well fed and they always are up for a good fight. They must have a good source of food. We still have to figure out what it is. Uh, if you look closely here, there's a huge crevice. That's where the butterfly would hide. Butterflies come in so many colors and so many diverse varieties that they're spectacular. These reptiles are insect killing machines. They know what to do with an insect and they're very quick with their tongues. So we have this uh, really odd thing going on in our garden and that is that we have so many white butterflies. But what was really, or what is really amazing is they disappear the moment it gets really windy or if it starts to rain. So I did some research. I said to myself, where do they go? So what I did is I walked around through the property and uh, sure enough, the butterflies were all protecting themselves inside crevices, under plant material, and uh, anywhere they could get some shelter from not getting wet. We have this massive population of about maybe, I don't know, 20 different species of uh, lizards that live on our property now. And I was always suspecting that they had some type of food source that I couldn't really figure out because it's just so many of them. And I think they're, they're preference is something that is meat based they're carnivores I would think they do eat a lot of our strawberries but I think they need you know more sustenance than that so anyways um, I figured out that these butterflies that are protecting themselves going into the crevices of the, um, the rocks that we have the retaining walls we have everywhere those crevices are like uh, a drive-through for them basically the butterflies show up they crawl inside the crevice and the uh, reptile is basically waiting there and getting fed. So um, that's how this number of, you know, huge number of reptiles that are on the property are being um, fed. So if you ever wondered where a butterfly went when it starts to get too windy or too wet, they uh, go under trees and search out all kinds of crevices to protect themselves from getting wet. It's really hard for them to fly when their wings are saturated with water, so that's why they um, have a built-in mechanism to seek protection before it's too late. And what I mean by that is they're, they have a built-in sense of hiding before they get too wet so they can't fly anymore. So if you're in your garden and you're saying, you know, there's absolutely no butterflies around, there's a really good chance that it's going to start to rain soon. It happens here any, in this place at a minimum. We have a, a sense of if the weather is changing, simply by the behavior of the butterflies. We have so many butterflies right now because we have uh, lots of cabbage out and stuff that's starting to grow and they're laying their eggs on the cabbage. So that really is the circle of life in real action. And that circle of life really shows you how one species depends on the other species to survive. So we have to really respect that uh, circular motion in nature. I'll give you an another, another example. We have the, uh, the padding bear, the, the masked bear, he comes down. And the poor bear is, in my opinion, people would probably laugh at me here, he's looking for trout or he's looking for fish that are in the river because we have footprints everywhere where he's tranching through the river looking for something. The bear has a built-in mechanism um, to catch fish. You know, the humans here have killed most of the fish, so there's hardly any fish in the river. So the bear wouldn't lose that, you know, built-in uh, concept of that there's fish in the river, so he will search for it even though there is no fish in the river. So that's again, the uh, human destruction it has a, a much deeper influence on everything that is part of that circle in life. And uh, we need to pay way more attention to that because these animals have all these mechanisms predetermined is the best word. They, they know what to do more than we do. And uh, when you take the fish away from a bear or if you take away the butterflies from reptiles or insects away from the reptiles, there's a tough, tough gap to fill there. And it's obvious that those species would be uh, eradicated themselves very quickly.